Mark 6, 2023. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. Had to hit a couple of the hardware stores this morning. And I had to go by Walmart and get some Coke. And uh, on the way back, you know, there's that uh, motel out there by, you know, where the tool shed's at. Independence was out there. They must have been having some problems. There was a black gal that was talking to the police. Now, uh, this motel, something I have noticed, uh, they've added a new lighting. They really, at night, it's really bright. I mean, they're trying to keep it all up halfway, halfway decent. A few years back, on uh, Thanksgiving morning, there was a gal that was uh, up here at Walmart. It needed a lift. She needed to ride back to that motel. And uh, I took her back to that motel. She Actually, she was living there. I think she was living in one of the rooms. Now, this was a few years back. But uh, the place tries to keep it halfway nice and decent up there. But uh, I'm going to show you this. They, they must be having trouble. There's a lot of stuff going on, guys. And uh, also, here at Independence, you know, I... Me and my son, we go up to the casino. And depends on how we come back. Sometimes we come back 291. Sometimes we come back 435. We jump off 23rd sometimes. Sometimes we come up by 70. But, get over here off 23rd. Now, I posted a video a while back where over by that, you know, that pawn shop, it's on 23rd Street, there was uh, some gals, actually, they were a hook it prostitutes out there well you know it depends they just they figured they could just maneuver they know a, a way to get around stuff and in the last couple of months i've been watching some things here very unusual how they're doing it uh where the pawn shop is late at night you know there's a couple bars over there off the other side on the south side too not too far from there and uh they're sitting in vehicles and they're parking up back on that street past the, the pawn shop. And those gals are setting those vehicles. And if the guys are wanting to pick up gals, they're going up to those vehicles. Something Independence Police, ah, they might need to check out. And over here at Wendy's, too. I posted a deal about this one guy that was supposedly throwing rocks or bricks at vehicles and stuff. We called the police. They never showed up. Manager over there, nothing ever was done. Finally, I got, I did finally get a return back from Independence Place, but it was delayed on my uh, voicemail. So, <laughs> I got it way later on the stuff. But you know what, that's another thing that needs to be addressed. It seems like the response time's getting way far down. Now, I talked to one of the officers out there in Independence, and supposedly they got way there prioritizing everything. I mean... Unless you're just in dire need and you're in a gun shootout, you might as well forget it. So, uh, just to let you know if you're over here in Independence. But, uh, I don't get that either. They got a lot of good cars out there. They got good equipment. Now, they're supposed to be one, and they're wanting to build a new, what is it? Uh, archive deal over there in Independence? Maybe they need to get some more... Cops out on the road, some more cars then. Those cars, I mean, when they outfit them, I think that last time I heard, it was like $200,000, you know, to actually, with all the electronics and everything. I don't know if that was correct or not. But, uh, I mean, Independence, the police, they are fitted with good equipment. So, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show this video real quick. Like I say, they need to check that out over on 23rd Street. Boy, they they got a good system on that. That pawn shop over there, too. I was over here, at one of the other ones over here on no one, and they were talking about, actually, at that pawn shop, that they were dealing in hot stuff. Now, these were the workers over here on no one. At that pawn shop, they were the people, employees were talking about that. They were telling people not to go over there to that other pawn shop. 
So then that makes me wonder about that. Now, who checks on that? Who is checking on the businesses at the pawn shop to see if these things are hot or not, or stolen? So they were actually saying that, uh, basically, that they were dealing stolen stuff over there at that pawn shop on 23rd Street. Interesting. I mean, it, it, it's just amazing the things when you get out here and you walk around and you open your eyes and you listen what you can hear and see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show this. I'm going to show this. Uh, they even had like a, like a paddy wagon van, the Independence Police van there too on the opposite side here. So hold on, guys. Well, I'm back. Here we go. And we're going to go on down the road here. And I'll try to stop this. It's kind of hard to hold all this. But we'll get this here. Right over there. There's a black lady. Talking to an independent police officer. And uh, that is called Executive Inn and Suites. I don't know if that's what it was called before a few years back or not. But like I said, they've... Actually, like, they, they must really be trying to keep all that bad stuff down over there. Now, I did see one thing a while back. that Somebody was actually, it looked like they were working, tearing a car apart over there, out there on a, a trailer out in front. But other than that, that's all I've seen. And I noticed that they, they added a whole a bunch of new lighting, bright lighting. This place is lit up like a Christmas tree, Definitely. Now, hold on, guys. I'll show you that van. Oh, hold on. I went a little too fast. <laughs> there we go. There's the Independence Police van right there. Interesting stuff. going down here see it's up right here by the tool shed hold on guys okay I'm back again now what I find kind of interesting about this there's old Doc Holliday's had some more vehicles there up here lately I don't know what they're doing with that but hold on let's see if I can stop this you see this car lot over here and you see this right, right here, right, the, right here at the edge, right here. You want to be aware of this over here, because two things I find interesting. Uh, the police sit here and watch for people that come out that are drunk or driving, which is a good thing. They'll, they'll sometimes sit over here. But also, the tool shed also has some of their own people sometimes sitting here, too, watching their own place. And it makes me wonder, I mean, something that the maybe the police already know about that. But uh, they'll sit there, like, like I say, and uh, at nighttime. So this is something to be aware of. So why would you, why if you had a bar, would you need spotters across from the bar watching? I can understand Jackson County Sheriff. I can understand an Independence Police Department. But why would they need that? Interesting. Very interesting. Something else I did notice, too. Eh, you know, last time when I was at that pawn shop over on Nolan, you know, there's another place across from there, too. There's a vacant lot. And sometimes the Independence Police sat over there. But there was a vehicle sitting there last time. And why I bring this up, it wasn't a police vehicle. It wasn't a police vehicle. What it was, it was an SUV. And why it caught my eye a whole lot, it had no license plates on it. But it had that Metcalf Auto Mall car tag deal on the front of it. And there's a lot of bad ones out there driving with those without no tags on with those on there. And uh, 
what I found interesting, I went over to the pawn shop. I go over there occasionally, see if I get any good buys. Sometimes I find good things, sometimes I don't. But after I pulled in there, it pulled across to the pawn shop. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Why would the pawn shop have somebody sitting across the street? I don't know. And then I thought, well, maybe they had somebody in there. They were trying to sell something that was hot or something else, and they didn't want to get caught if the person got caught on something. But now this is the pawn shop I was talking about that said that over on 23rd Street, the employees said that they were dealing in hot stuff on 23rd Street over there. Now, who checks the businesses out like that? You know, like when you'd see that pawn shop on TV and stuff? I mean, they always worried about purchasing things that were, you know, stolen and stuff. But who's regulating that here? Who regulates that? And who looks at those businesses? Now, I mean, that's here at Independence. That's something else that needs to be looked at. A lot of weird stuff going on, guys. And hold on. I'm back, guys. And I got a lot more videos coming. I'm going to be doing, going to several concerts here in the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing reviews on them. So we're going to be having a lot of stuff go on. There's a rock show coming up here again this weekend. I don't know. Is it? Is there a car show too? I don't know, maybe. And uh, we also got, what is that, Snake Saturday coming up here too? Man, there is a lot of events, a lot of good things coming up here, here in Kansas City. So uh, keep your eyes open and have a good one out there.